الرحمن الرحيم Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Ali Shamno here. More micro brushless FPV racing quadcopters in the reviews. Today in this video, I have got my another favorite brand, recent favorite brand for micro brushless FPV racing quadcopters is the King Kong. This is the King Kong Fly Egg. What's up with the names? <laughs> it doesn't even look like an egg. But anyway, this is the King Kong Fly Egg. And the best thing I like about the King Kong bundles or King Kong quadcopters is this box. This neat, amazing, nice box that these quadcopters and accessories come in is extremely useful. So after review, basically, this is a very, very useful box. Anyway, so for now, this quadcopter came in this box. Let me give you a closer look at the quadcopter and what comes inside the box, inside this amazing, nice box, the accessories and everything. We'll take a look at the features. Okay, so this is the King Kong Fly Egg right here, sitting on the table. So inside the box, I had a King Kong Fly Egg, and of course, these propellers were not installed. There are two sets of propellers. I installed the yellow one because they look right, you know, very, very cool on this one. After that, if we dig in more, man, I simply love this box. Thank you very much, King Kong. When we dig more, we have the motor covers that you might want to install because they will prevent your motors from damaging while you're crashing. And we also have the propeller guards that you can install if you want. But uh, quadcopter already this big, installing the propeller guards will make it even bigger and you won't be able to do some, you know, small gates, FPV racing gates. So anyway, uh, then we have one more set of propeller which is white as I mentioned and then we have two rubber band propeller tool for you to remove the propeller sometimes these propellers can really get stuck very very hard okay now we have a 350 milliamp 35c 7.4 volt lipo nice very nice we have a USB cable well I have lots of these USB cables now one more this is to for you to adjust your flight controllers parameter by connecting it to the computer okay and then we have a user manual okay and a little bit of kind of warning which says the FreeSky XM receiver can be trouble without upgrading the firmware so please upgrade the firmware I hope there's no trouble because I hate upgrading the firmware on these receivers thing. Everything needs upgrading the firmware. I have no idea why. Anyway, and then we have a simple user manual for your receiver, for receiver, for you to learn how to bind your receiver and how to set fail safe. This is it. So this is here is 130 mm that is Fly Egg 130 mm quadcopter. They also have a Fly Egg 100 mm version. So I've got myself 130 mm. That is why it was looking bigger. The key features are four in one 10 m brushless heli ESCs, brushless heli S ESCs, 1105 7000 kV motors. Video transmitter is a 5.8 GSZ 25 milliwatt, which you can also switch to 100 milliwatt, and it's only 16 channel. The camera installed here is an 800 TV line camera, and of course, the angle of the camera is adjustable. Propellers are 2840 and battery I have already shown you. The weight without battery and receiver is only 77.8 grams on this one and it is available for Futaba and Free Sky radio systems plus Fly Sky and DSM. So when you are ordering this one, make sure to order it with proper receiver of your radio compatible to your radio. All right, after the spec, I like the design on this quadcopter. I don't know why they're calling it a fly egg. Maybe probably for the egg-shaped frame right here, and it is a metal frame, which is going to protect your hardware in, t in case you are crashing it really, really hard. But anyway, the first thing that you will damage will be the propeller and motors. So make sure you install the motor protectors provided in the box. Uh, the the frame the carbon fiber frame it's pretty thick and looks really tough and strong once again the battery will be mounted using a rubber band right here and this should be more than enough the receiver is installed right here on the bottom so you will be easily able to bind it to your radio and this antenna will not go anywhere 
in the propellers. Antenna for the video transmitter is mounted with a zip tie already, which is very, very nice. And I see the LED lights on the back side right here as well. So basically, this is a nice and neat design. It's also using the same kind of, uh, you know, flight controller towers that are very, very common in these kind of micro brushless FPV racing quadcopters. Enough said, let me charge the battery. Let me set it up with my Tyrannus X90 radio system. We'll bring it out for a spin and and we will see how well this quadcopter performs, what kind of FPV and flight performance it's offering us, and how tough it can be, how much fun it can be to fly or FPV racing with micro brushless series of quadcopters like this. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, baby! Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work. That I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.